Hi, here are 10 tips for better photos by Charles Cottle. Tip number one, use the rule of thirds. Visually divide the scene into thirds along the vertical and horizontal axes. Place the subject of interest at the intersection points. In other words, as you look through your viewfinder, imagine that these blue lines are superimposed on the scene before you. Now let's apply the rule. Here is a picture of the Great Wall of China. It doesn't look very good. Let's put the lines on. Now we see why. Now here's the same scene again but with a slightly different composition. In this case, major features of the photo are taken out of the center of the picture and placed along the lines dividing the photo into thirds. Tip number two. Include a foreground when possible for scenic shots. Foreground and background are only two of the possible layers. You may, of course, include more. This picture is nice. This picture is nicer. Tip number three. Lead the eye with lines that move through the picture. This will create a sense of depth in the photo. Here are four photographs that demonstrate this idea. Tip number four, balance the composition. In this scene, the church belfry is balanced by the people on the corner. The tree in the middle of the photograph anchors the photograph holding the other two objects in place. Tip number five, avoid clutter. Clutter is a major problem. In this scene, dead branches spoil the picture. In this composition, they're not so apparent and it's a little better. Still, however, not a prize winner. Tip number six, control the depth of field. Use a long depth of field for landscapes and a short depth of field for portraits. In this scene of Wisconsin wheat, you can see that the individual grains of wheat right before your eye are in focus, but so too is the barn and the trees in the background. That's a long depth of field. In this portrait, in contrast, the major features of the face are in sharp focus. Everything else is blurred. Tip number seven. Take advantage of early morning and late afternoon light. As a corollary, on bright summer days, avoid landscape photography between 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. This is a scene that takes advantage of late afternoon light. Earlier in the day, especially in the middle of the day, this would be an ugly picture. Tip number eight. Use water to enhance outdoor scenes. Look for reflections. In this scene, without the water, it would be completely boring. In this umbrella scene, taken in China, the reflections on the sidewalk make the picture. It's a rainy day, but it's a good day for photography. The reflections of these geese at sunset are almost geometric. The light, of course, reflecting on the water helps make what I think is a good picture. In this scene, the lights on the river make Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin look almost exotic. Of course, the moon behind the clouds also helps. Next tip, look for color. We live in a world full of color. Look for it. Photograph it. And tip number 10. When photographing children, get on their level. Here's a photo of two children beside a well. It's cute, but I took the picture above them they're looking up. This picture is much better. It's taken at the eye level of the subject. So there you have it. Those are the 10 tips. That's it for now.